I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that what I'm doing right now is at least somewhat revolutionary. I'm recording this whole thing on a multi-camera studio made up of an iPad and some cameras. That's it. No expensive external video switchers with a mess of wires and plugs. I got one cable going from the iPad to the wall. This setup will allow me to live stream or record using multiple angles. I can do this from anywhere I want, and it all breaks down and fits into a backpack. You can get this whole thing for less than 700 bucks, and if you already have the iPad, less than 100. So in real time, you can shoot a complex arrangement, like an interview or an unboxing video, and with just a few taps on the screen while recording or streaming, save yourself so much time and boost your production value in the process. Let me show you. Let's say we're doing an unboxing video and I'm showing off this old microphone that I don't use anymore. Seems real nice, but I wanna get that personal touch at the same time. Or let's say we're doing an interview and I wanna use a nicer camera like a DSLR, in this case, my Sony ZV-1, which is also piping the audio from this mic back into the iPad. I've got four different cameras at my disposal with this setup, and all of this is made possible because of the features included in the new iOS 17. Personally, this is really exciting, and I'm convinced that there's a slew of creators out there that will find this to be an instant game changer for them. Let me show you how this works. So let's start with the hardware. As promised, it all fits into a backpack. First thing you're gonna need is an iPad, one with a USB-C port using an M1 chip or better and updated to iOS 17. This one is a fifth generation iPad Air. Then you'll need a USB dock that uses USB-C. This one mounts flush to the bottom of the iPad, which is really nice. A secondary camera of your choosing, webcam, DSLR, something like that and then mounting hardware of your choosing that suits your kind of shoot. I'm using kind of a tabletop setup with an extending arm. Also, you'll need nothing, that's it. This is it, this is all the hardware you're going to need. I use an app called Camo Studio to control the, so, uh, the camera and the stream and the recording and all that, but you don't need any other gear to get started and it sets up super quick, so let me show you. And there's a bit of a backstory about why I'm so obsessed with this. I have this sweet Italian mother. She loves to cook, she loves history, she also makes stained glass windows, restores old books, stuff like that, and she loves telling people the history of those things as she's doing them. Additionally, she consumes a lot of YouTube content on her iPad while she does these hobbies and crafts and such. My sister and I keep telling her, you should be on YouTube, sharing your talents and wisdom and all of this with the world. But I know that she'd never do anything like that if she had to learn a whole new technology, a complicated setup, and just get frustrated with it all the time. So I knew that any suggestion that I were to offer her would have to be with a familiar tech and push button, set it and forget it simple. Boom, that's it. It's ready to go. Am I crazy for thinking that this is a huge leap forward? I mean, something like this didn't exist a few months ago before iOS 17 came out, at least on an Apple platform. I didn't think this was a radical concept, but everywhere I looked, it didn't seem to exist. And everyone on Reddit or Facebook would say, no, that's not possible, or suggest some pro-level $1,000 setup with a Raspberry Pi and video switchers and a mess of wires. But I did notice that one or two YouTubers were pointing out that the iOS 17 beta would now support external cameras, and they were showing you how you could use FaceTime with a DSLR. Shout out to Isaac Insol from Australia. Thanks, buddy. But most streaming and social media apps weren't supporting this feature yet, and they I don't think they still are. I did find Camo Studio, which is very easy to operate, and voila, it works exactly as push button simple as I need it to be. And I think once YouTube, Twitch, and others update their mobile apps to accommodate this, this will really take off. Because I know there's a ton of people out there who already stream to TikTok and Instagram, selling their homemade wares and crafts, doing tutorials, 
and they do it on a phone or an iPad. This, this will allow them to really step up their production value with just a couple of cheap accessories. And if you don't live stream and just record videos, you can get all your angles taken care of while you're done, polish it up and editing a little bit, but none of that stacking multi-cam views and having to edit all that together. Let me show you how simple this is. There's a few apps out there that do this, but Camo Studio really just fit my needs. It links to your YouTube, Twitch, any other account. You just start a new broadcast, put in your details and you can go. Or if you just want to record to your iPad and edit it down later, you can do that as well. Bring up this panel here, switch to your different scenes, do picture in picture. You can adjust where this is and it'll even follow me around. So I can have a little more flexibility while doing picture in picture. All of these scenes are customizable. You can set them up in advance. You can have up to two cameras running at once, even though you can have more than that attached to the whole rig, but two at the same time. If you're live, you want to see what your viewers are saying in the chat, you'll be able to view that here, interact with them. So it's a wonderful little setup with this app. So here's the catch. This whole project is a surprise Christmas gift for my mom. And after talking with my dad, he doesn't think she's gonna be remotely interested in something like this, which is fair. Not everyone wants to make content for strangers on the internet. So there's a chance that if she uses this at all, it's gonna be more of a tutorial for friends and family kind of thing, or just for us kids to have and remember her by for generations to come. Either way, she does sometimes watch my videos here on YouTube. So I'm going to have to wait until the morning I'm presenting her this gift to even upload this video. I will try to record her reaction and to getting it and learning how to use it and get that up as quick as I can. Meanwhile, I hope that this extremely simple but powerful setup is discovered by the people who need it most. And if you know somebody who might benefit from a push button turnkey multicam studio like this, the share button's down here somewhere. Go ahead and use that generously. Meanwhile, wish me luck.